All right, so here's the 22 um, AP released free response questions, and we're starting with number one here. Um, if I make any mis if you if you guys got different questions than this, they won't release those questions. So this is the most common one. And if um, there's any mistakes in here, I'll put it in the description below or uh, pin it in the comment. Okay, so from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., the rate at which vehicles arrive at a certain toll plaza is given by this. So this is how much they arrive by. They arrive at a rate where T is the number of hours after 5 a.m. and A of T is the measure of vehicles per hour. Traffic is flowing smoothly at 5 a.m. with no vehicles waiting in line. Write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. T equals 1 to 10 a.m. Okay, so this is just making sure you understand that this is the rate at which cars are arriving. So the number total number of cars is the integral from one to five of the rate. 450 root sine of 0 0.62 T DT. Boom, that's it. Find the average value of the rate, average value of the rate in vehicles per hour in which the vehicles arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m to 10 a.m. Okay, so average of the rate means that if I want to do average value, you do one over the interval width times the integral of what you're trying to, you know, find the uh, the average value of. So th this is the function I'm trying to take the average value of. I'm trying to find the average value of the rate. So I am integrating that rate from one to five and dividing by the interval width. And, um, we will probably use units for this one, so let's clear this out. Let's just, I'm gonna do the standard way I do this just so you can practice plugging this in. So the function we're gonna use is 450 and then square root of sine of 0.62 like that. Okay, and then I just want to do one divided by four times, and then we're gonna integrate function integral, we're gonna integrate from one to five, and then here I'm gonna use the y variable, y variable one, the function I just put in, dx, and there's that. And that would be 375.5, uh, find the average rate, we'll just 537, and this is vehicles per hour. I'm gonna do a couple of checking because I haven't used my calculator in a while. Uh, let's just make sure I am in radian mode and let's just double check that I entered in this function correctly. Sign, I should have done that perf uh, earlier. Okay, that looks good. So I think I am pretty feel pretty good about that number. Is the rate at which the vehicles arrive increasing or decreasing? So they're asking you, is the rate increasing or decreasing? So if you're ever asking if something is increasing, what is increasing the rate? I want to know if a prime, like a, like this is a of t. If I want to know that if this is increasing or decreasing, I care of whether the derivative is positive or negative. So we're going to compute this, and we're going to say function. We're going to do the n derivative over x of the function we're doing y one, and we're doing it evaluating that derivative at one. Is I got a prime of one is 148.9. Because that is greater than zero, that means a of one or a of t is increasing because the derivative is positive at t equals one. Okay. All right. Um, the line forms whenever a of t is greater than or equal to 400. The number of vehicles in line time t for a between so for t between a and four is given by this equation, where a is the time at which the line be, first begins to form. To the nearest whole number, find the greatest number of vehicles in the line at the toll plaza in the time interval from A to 4 and justify your answer. Okay, so they didn't give you this endpoint. You have to know when it's a it line first begins to form. So what you um, it doesn't really matter too much, but that apparently whatever A is, it should be 400 because that's when it begins to form, right? Um, so we, we know that information. With, even without knowing what A is, we can, we can figure out that A of A has to be 400 because that's when the line first begins to form, right? And that's when we start getting to 400 people. So we know that it must start at 400 there. So we, want, so we know that that is, and we want to check, this is a finding the greatest number. So this is an absolute max. So we, I would do a candidates test. 
So I'm going to check for any critical points. And um, so I want to know when n prime of t is 0, right? And the der derivative of this is just a prime of t minus 400. Remember the derivative of an integral, you just take that t, you plug it right into there. And that's when that's equal to 0. So I want to know when a prime of t is equal to 400. So how would I do that? I would use my calculator. I would plot 400. I'm going to window it from 0 to 4. And we're going to say the min is 0 and the max is, we'll say, 1,000 or something like that. I don't know. And that we'll put it on the graph. So there is my, this is my a of x. And then there is a right there. And um, yeah. Okay. So that, so we just we just need to find that first point, th that first time that it intersects there, um, uh, or at least oh, sorry, we need to find both of those times. So we're gonna calculate intersect, first curve, second curve, and then just pick a point nearby, put it about there. So that occurs at t equals one point four six nine four, and then we'll calculate the other intersection point right is first curve second curve and then my guess is somewhere over to the right over here just put it right around there i also get 3.5977 and then we also want to check endpoints so i want to compute n of t at the endpoints of the interval a and 4 as well as the critical points And to compute, so we know that um, um, n of, sorry, n of, um, sorry, this is not supposed to be a of a. I meant n of a. n of a has to be 400. That's the number of cars at a. That's 400. Uh, flying forms whenever a of t is greater than 400. Actually, no. Now I'm a little confused on this one. I want to make sure I understand this. The line forms whenever a of t is greater than 400. The number of vehicles in the line, do they tell us how many it starts at? Uh, okay, so if we want to figure out how much it starts at, we need to figure out how many um, cars arrive between 0 and a, technically speaking. Um, so we could do that, but I should know that these are actually going to be larger probably because if you look at the rate, this is a of t, they're arriving and they're discharging. Well, actually, so actually now that I think about it, we do need to find a ultimately, um, we actually need to find when it hits 400. So we need to know when this integral, uh, adds up to 400. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Let's see. I guess the way I would do it is if I'm looking at the graph here of this of these rates here. Um, below here, oh sorry, oh, let's let's put where one is. One is right around there on the graph. So it's like at the beginning, less are arriving than 400, and then we're moving them at 400 per hour or 400 per whatever, and then you're going over them. So. Let's just say we don't know what, let, let's say we don't, okay, let's say I don't know what this value is. We'll just call this n of a, okay? And then let's do n of 4. n of 4 would just be the integral from a to t of um, a of x minus 400 dx, right? This is what, I'm just going to use this formula to calculate it. And we'll just put it in terms of, of a. Like this, um, sorry, this integral, sorry, let me just be clear on this one. This integral, if I plug in 4 here, n of 4, uh, the number of lines. Oh, yeah, OK, so we're doing n of a. Sorry, I'm, I'm going a little bit slow. n of a is just the integral from a to a, right, of, a, of this thing. So that's 0, right? Because if you integrate from a to a, you're going to get 0. If I integrate from 0 to 4 of this thing, so let's, let's do that integral. Let's do the function integral from a. Right, that's the problem, is you don't know what A is. Um, let me think about this. Um, what would I do to find the number? Okay, I think I need to figure out what A is ultimately. I think that would just make my life a lot easier. I kind of just confused by a little bit. A is the time when it first begins to form. 
Um, so we want to figure out the, okay, so that's when A of T is greater than 400. So how am I going to figure out when that happens is if you look at, remember our graph, this was A of T and this is 400. So when it begins, first begins to happen is actually this part right here. This is my A value. So A is, this is A, because this is, this is when, um, um, this is when, um, uh, a of t does equal 400, right? That's that's what I'm finding right here. I'm finding when that rate is 400. So this is A right here. This is when it first started. And then this is just some other time, right? Um, sorry, I, I know I'm, I'm messing up my annotations here, but this is what I was actually finding. When I took the derivative, it was just A of t minus 400. I found it. So this is when it first started. This is when it second, this is the second time that it hit uh, that 400. So really this was my A value. Okay, so now we know what A is. So this is zero. And then now when I want to do N of four, I'm going to integrate from 1.4694 of this function. So that's what I was trying, that's, that's what I should be doing. From 1.4694 up to four of y1 minus 400. Sorry, I kind of butchered that explanation, but hopefully that makes sense. I want to be clear. I'm trying to minimize the amount of mistakes I make. 62.338. And then let's do the same integral, but now we're going to evaluate it at, instead of 4, we're going to do it at um, the other critical point. And it should be this other critical point, by the way. This 3.5977. Uh, that is 71.25. To the nearest whole number, find the greatest number of vehicles. So they actually want the y value. So this is the greatest number. So it's 71 cars or vehicles. Sorry, they didn't say, they didn't say car, vehicles. Okay, so that would be my final answer for that one. Okay, so that one's a little bit, you know, a little bit tricky because you had to find the a part first. You had to find when, when the a of t was equal to 400 and then you could set up and do the candidates test like that.